Greetings, Grey Maniacs. Are we all gathered comfortably? Then I shall begin. Welcome to another bloggy, 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 blog, blog from the Grey Man. <laughs> Insert freaky music there. Ooh. Welcome to the Grey Side. I have some lovely comics to show you today. Uh, they're all Superman comics. I'm finishing going through box 19. I've completed two more of my 31 Nights of Halloween videos today. It'll have to take a long time. <laughs> okay, I've not done exclusively that. I read a comic, uh, you know, I had, had lunch, <laughs> that kind of thing. Chatted to Matilda, chatted to Lisa. Um, yeah, but you know, still two of those little shorts in a day. It's not the greatest numbers, is it? <laughs> yeah, anyway, but I'll do another one tonight, so I'm back ahead again, and maybe I can start um, collaborating again. Um, now, Modi said he was going to send me one that he, he wanted to put together himself, so I'm relying on you to do that, uh, Jay, if you're intending to do it. And if anyone else wants to do voices, uh, let me know. I'll try and sort something out. I know... Uh, uh, Sharon from Life to YouTube said she'd like to do another one. I'm sure somebody else said they wanted to do one. Oh, I can't remember now. But if anyone wants to do one, you know, leave a comment down below. Any, yeah, um, yeah, people who've watched these videos and want to, to collaborate on doing voices on other videos, let me know, okay? Uh, and I will give you priority. <laughs> okay. Going through the Superman run with John Boone. It's your first issue, Superman, and it could be your last. I should have started with the blinking six par. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> I didn't think that through too good, did I? And uh, the the six par is kind of like holding up the camera at the moment. <laughs> Do you like this new position that I'm seated in? The comfy chair, rather than by the window. Because, um, I don't know. I don't see it gets so much bad glare here when it's dark. Uh, it's, it's dark outside. Right, when it's light outside, I sit by the window. I think I've got good light there. But when it's dark outside, and I sit by the window. It doesn't seem to be quite so good, such good lighting. And here it looks like a more relaxed kind of. Ah, oh, yeah, sit back. Ah, oh, oh, sit back like a little nap. <laughs> oh no, sorry. I was supposed to be showing you comic books, aren't I? What am I? What am I? What am I like? <laughs> here you go. I feel like I have. I should have a glass of sherry or something. <laughs> yeah, good run, good Superman run. One of Rodgers' favourite artists, John Byrne. This is where they reinvented the Superman book kind of thing. Gone were the days of Silver Age madness where he could push planets out of orbit. <laughs> uh, I think his costume was no longer invincible. So they, they started off this whole run. I didn't even know at the beginning of this run that he was from Krypton. So that was introduced, like reintroduced in this comic book kind of thing. And I think it was reintroduced to, to meeting Lois for the first time. That kind of thing. So yeah, it was interesting. <laughs> Drop dead Superman, Mr. Mixapiclic is the only man for me stepping into the fifth dimension. That is a good cover. <laughs> oh, Lost Love, this is this must be his mermaid lady. Is it Laurie Lamaris? Laurie Lamaris? Who was it who decided that all Superman's love interests should have double L's for their initials? Where did that come from even? Millennium Week 2. 
this was the first Millennium, and I've mentioned it before, was the first crossover event I actually bought. Like, I mean, I'd only just started collecting the comics at that point. And um, so I, I kind of missed out. I just didn't start until after Crisis on Infinite Earths. Although I collected some before as a kid, like just loose ones here and there, I never had enough money to buy out a regular comic, or I might have had if I'd been thinking thought about it, but I just didn't think about it. I only went to the comic shop every now and again. I always loved comics and loved reading full stop. But um, unfortunately, I never collected as many as a, ki as a kid as I wish I believe well had done. I'd have a heck of a lot more comics now if I'd collected more as a kid. But a lot, most of my comics are bought once I started work. Once I literally reached the age of being able to work for myself, I was a comic shop open near to where I live, and uh, I went there a lot, basically. Got my monthly books all the time. But so I didn't start until, yeah, as I say, Millennium was my first crossover event. So this is this is the late 80s, this is 88. So, wow, yeah, so... Yeah, not been collecting quite as long as I think, probably. <laughs> Not as long as some. Well, I have done. I was collecting when I was younger, but I just didn't, not regularly. When we were, you know, I was an avid reader of stuff, and I loved superheroes. But uh, I don't know, it just feels like I should have had more comic books when I was young, but um, I didn't. So, tough. <laughs> but obviously, I always loved comic books, so when I finally had money to buy, spend on stuff, comic books is what I chose to spend my money on amongst other things. Quite at the same time, I was spending money on loads of records as well. Because I was um, big into my heavy metal, going to loads of gigs, spending like under quid on vinyl every month, or vinyl or CDs or whatever. And also I had a regular comic book uh, collection as well. <laughs> oh well. I can't say I haven't got anything to show for it, because I've got plenty of comic books, and I've got quite a lot of records as well you know if I ever need to one day I can flog them I suppose <laughs> can't take them with me <laughs> alright there you go I'm going to start talking about maudling stuff <laughs> no, let's, no, I can, oh, no let's not let's not go there I must get around to doing my uh, merchandise so I can send a cup to Matilda, a uh, Grey Maniacs Gather Cup, or have a Grey Amazing Day. Yeah, cups, t shirts, you know, underwear, face masks. <laughs> Grey gray, gray, gray Man will keep the virus away for you if we order a bunch of face masks. Nah, it's just going to be one of these online shops where people order, you know, so if no one orders anything, it don't matter. It don't cost me anything. <laughs> That's the main thing. It doesn't cost me anything. Um, yeah, I think I do. That's the first 30. I'll show you the last... What it, I've only got them in there up to the triangle numbers. So up to number 50. So I'll show you the, the 50, uh, the other 20 um, of the... Superman run, plus I'll show you the uh, Man of Steel six-parter uh, at the same time. Anyway, so yeah, cheers for tuning in. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here again. You know what, I'm going to shout out Tapia again this week. I thought it wasn't that long ago since I shouted him out, actually. But he's so close to 100 subs, and now uh, he's a nice fella. He's always responsive when you when you chat to him. He often comes and have a, has a comment on my videos as well, which is always appreciated. I don't 100% know what a Vato is. I think it probably means friend, <laughs> or comrades, or colleagues, or I don't know, uh, gang members. I don't know what it means. He, he plays a little thing at the end of his videos where they talk about the vetoes, and he looked like a, like you know, just think like a club or something, like a gang, like a gang of lads, like a, like a bunch of bunch of mates. I'm assuming. So I think vetoes is just like me saying, mate. All right, mate. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going on there. But yeah, tell me what Vatos means in, in the uh, comment. And uh, go and sub up uh, Tapia's Unlimited Comics and Family Things and Friends and, and Vatos. <laughs> I'm even probably saying it wrong. I'm probably saying it really badly. Vatos. It can't be Vatos, it's just Vatos, isn't it? I think I need an accent to say it. Vatos. It sounds more. Uh, Interesting when he says it. <laughs> I say it, it sounds wrong. It sounds like it shouldn't be coming out of my gob. <laughs> so I'll stick to mate. I'll stick to mate. <laughs> or oh, Grey Maniacs. That's even better. Grey Maniacs is where it's at. Grey, the Grey Maniac clan. This is our, this is our sign. 
<laughs> we don't need to have a sign. But but if you ever meet me in the street and you go like that, <laughs> I would have forgotten what it meant and I just think you're a complete nutcase. So don't do that. <laughs> uh, I'm going back to do some more um, nights of Halloween and uh, make myself some dinner and uh, yeah, yeah, that's about it really. Nothing else to report. But guess what, guys and girls and grey maniacs of all colours and creeds and sizes and shapes and sexualities. I shall return tomorrow. Yes, I shall. And uh, until I come back tomorrow, I want you guys and girls and people and things and aliens from the planet Zarkon to all have a grey amazing day. And may all your news be good news. Go and sub Tapia! He wants to get to 100 subs! He hasn't got far to go! So perhaps you could get to 100 if you go and sub him now! Click the link in the corner and give him your subscription! Yeah! You know you want to! Yeah!